In the 18th century, Mother Paula soon found herself involved in several scandals, which included intimate desires, the pursuit of power, and a luxurious life. The beautiful young woman who was sent to the convent without consent would soon have her life completely changed. If you're ready to find out what happened to her, subscribe to the channel and join us on a journey of exploring the mysteries of the past. When we think of a convent, the first thing that probably comes to mind is a place of contemplation and spirituality. However, in the 18th century during the reign of John V of Portugal, this was not quite the case. Religious institutions, behind closed doors, were synonymous with depravity for the powerful men of the nobility and even for the clergy. The nobles did not want to pray, but to seek carnal satisfaction. On the other hand, the nuns were driven by forbidden and repressed desires, which included not only intimate desire, but also the desire for power and a luxurious life. Since most were there without consent, the visit of powerful men was an opportunity to have carnal relationships and gain wealth and power. In the 18th century, the parents of poorer families who did not have the money to pay dowries or the education of their daughters used to send their most fiery and flirtatious daughters to convents to straighten the girls and prevent them from soiling the name of their families. So it happened with the young mother Paula. She was sent to the monastery of St. Denis of Odivilas, where her two sisters were already, even though they had no vocation. The girls who had been sent with good intentions from their father were now in neither pure nor educational territory. The place was full of carnal pleasure seekers, musicians, aristocrats, poets, and even nobles. They arrived at the monastery saying that they were going to attend meetings, but in fact, they were after the nuns, telling poetry, to conquer and seduce the novices. Girls liked the courtship and often lost their composure and let it get involved. They presented the nobles with sweets and seductive looks, giving themselves little by little to the conquerors. Often the nobility slept in the convent with their mistresses. But not only in this convent, in several other religious communities in Portugal, the nuns got involved with visitors interested in carnal relationships. That was how Mother Paula met King John V, her first love. When the king went to the convent to participate in the holy sacrament and a wedding that took place in 1718, a record in the book Lovers of the Kings of Portugal, the Count of Vimioso said that the king hopelessly in love with Paula said he would give him two nuns of his choice if he would leave Paula to himself. According to reliable sources, the king had a son with Mother Paula. Their son was born around 1920 and was called Jose of Braganza. Their son later became the inquisitor of the realm. At the time, the novices who were lovers of nobles had several privileges, but the novice who was the king's lover in addition to privileges still receive a pension from the monarch, and her father became a professed knight of the Order of Christ, which was a great honor at the time. King John built a luxurious house near the convent for Mother Paula, especially to be able to find her. There she lived with her two sisters. The building was called Mother Paula's Tower in the house, there were curtains with embroidery of gold, bathtubs of solid silver, and beautiful stained glass. But everyone knew that Mother Paula was not directly interested in material goods. He was her first and madly loved the king. According to the National Library of Lisbon, 20 nuns were convicted of these carnal amorous crimes in the first half of the 18th century. The novice Paula, on the other hand, did well and lived like a queen, even after King John died at age 67. The two lived through one of the most scandalous and enduring affairs known today. Did you know these stories? Tell us here in the comments. And don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.